up here we have the menu and here you have some options for setting the size of the canvas depending on which kind of graphics you want to create and then you have some other options here and the third panel is the history you know, for all the actions you do here it will be a history line when you're done you know step by step user guide and when you're done with the project settings you can hide them up here and I will also hide the history because I'm not going to be using it for this video and I'm also going to hide, hide here the merchandise alright so you have here the graphical object edit tool it's selected by default and here I can pick which kind of object I want to add so to add an image choose image there and I can either drag in the canvas or I can just press this button or I can go to the file menu and say open images set paint image collection by default I can pick an image by clicking on it I can double click to add it or if I want it to be smaller I can pick a size here there we have it you see that now image 1 was added to the objects panel and here you see that the move and transform tool is selected and when this tool is selected I can mess around with the object so I can drag it just by pressing with the mouse and moving it around or by pressing with the mouse here and moving up and down and to scale I can press the control and scale or I can press here and move up and down to rotate I can you know, press the circle here control point and rotate or I can either move this or press here and move up and down okay and I can skew the object like this or I can skew here on P2 by press with the mouse and moving up and down okay and here you see distort 2D transformation and then they only work with layers or selections so because I'm not in, in the layers here I'm not working with it right now and there's no selection it will automatically create one for me when I press here see create the selection for me selections are you can see that it's a, it's a selection because of the these running bars around the image this is how you know it's a selection so for selections I can transform in 3D and when you are done you can just press on the selection and say here insert as a new object and deselect for example see then a new object image 2 is created with the new transformed image and to delete you can just press on the image and delete like that and the same goes for for bend as well it will create a selection for me and I can press on the control points here to bend the selection like that but I'll talk more about selections later on so for now I'm just going to deselect here okay so when the object move and transform tool is chosen this object panel is enabled 
and I can also choose here the move and transform content tool then the content panel will be enabled and here we have the different tabs that you can choose the first tab size and offset I can change the offset of the of the layer of the content I can change the size of the content like that so now there's more room for the graphics inside the object and I can go here to the layers by pressing layers and you see your layers here and you can drag it here the layers to move it around or if we go back to where we were before like this I can also just press here with the mouse and say edit layers it's the same we'll go to the layers here and on the layers tab here you have some other tabs with different options for example I can give you some blur I can give you some smooth shrink see what happens smooth shrink it gets nice and round in the borders in the corners and I can add a skill some, some effects new effect like that or I can mess with, around with the colors in here so all the powerful stuff in fat paint is inside these these uh, tab paints so they are hidden away so you, so you don't have to you know mess around with them if you don't need them okay so let me make this content small again see how we got now nice, nice round corners okay so let's let's add a new object this time I'm going to add from he up here instead of using this one I can use it from up there so add text for example or add clip art let's add a clip art I'm gonna put that one right there so here we have it so you see here a new object was created so when this object is selected it is marked with a green and here you see I can change all the different stuff for that object and to, to, to change stuff for the image before I can either click on it here or I can click on it here okay and I can move this one after image one so you see it's behind it or I can move it inside so now it's inside the other one and when it's inside I can you know move the whole thing together around because I'm, when you move the parent object the whole thing will change together move together Okay, and to move it out, you see here, it says here it's inside image one. To move it outside, I can just say here to not nothing, and to move it inside, I can just see like that, or I can just drag it here and move it before like that. Let me delete this again and go back to the image. So you see, when the object move and transform tool is selected, the content is disabled. To enable it, I have to press either up here, or I can just press on it straight away here with the mouse. And the same is true for the other one. See, it's disabled now. I can just press here on either on top of the tab here, or just you know anywhere inside here. In case the name. 